you ever struggled to actually finish a knitting or crochet project? Are learning new techniques a challenge or has getting help in the moment with your specific problem felt impossible? Or maybe you're looking for a way to tap into your own creativity, awaken your inner artist, and connect with other makers who love making things as much as you do. If that is you, I have been there and so get all of these struggles. Hi there, my name is Amy Small, and I am the owner and founder of Knit Collage, a business where myself and the team here designs and makes hand-spun unique yarns. We design patterns and we teach knitting and crochet online. So over the past 14 years, I have taught thousands of makers from all over the world, everything from the basics like the knit and the purl stitch, to more advanced techniques like how to stick a sweater, how to read a chart, how to do color work like the sweater I'm wearing, and so much more. So along the way, these makers have finished with beautiful pieces that they love and wear with pride. And the whole time they were making them, they strengthened their technical skills, they leaned deeply into their own creativity, and they developed a knitting or crochet practice that helped them bring about more joy and calm in their lives. But that's not how it all started for me. When I was first starting out on my knitting journey, back when I was a senior in college, this is where I was. I had just learned to knit, I decided I was gonna make a sweater, and I bought all this beautiful yarn and I got stuck. I was completely stumped on how to do one of the techniques. I had also completely lost that good cast on motivation I had when I started the project. And that sweater never went on to become anything more than a languishing work in progress knit stashed away in my closet somewhere. So instead of progressing and really feeling triumphant, I was left feeling totally discouraged. I aspired to take my knitting to the next level, but I had no idea how to get there. I didn't have the skills, support, or community to help me follow through. As a kid, I was super creative and I used to collage everything. This is where we get the collage, knit collage. <laughs> I used Mod Podge on everything, if you remember that. As a teenager, there wasn't a pair of jeans in my closet that I didn't embellish in one way or another with beads, embroidery, or patches. But through years of just growing up in the world, I felt that much of my creativity and that creative spark had been stamped out of me. Part of it was me just trying to fit into our cookie cutter world. And part of it was me running myself into the ground as I juggled the responsibilities of being a working parent to three little kids. I had lost touch with my authentic self and that creative kid I used to be. So I love this quote from Picasso. I wanna read it to you now. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. Can you relate to that? This was me. Even though I didn't know it at the time, I was looking for a way to return to that boundlessly creative kid. Life is busy, right? And the world wants us to stay busy. It is hard to slow down in our fast paced world. Almost impossible. And I used to fill my days with tons of working hours and giant to-do lists. And most of the time it felt impossible to carve out any sliver of self-care time for myself, even though I had an inkling that when I take care of myself, I take care of everyone else around me, including my work, <laughs> better. I had a feeling, but this was really hard for me to change. Lastly, I craved a way to connect with other makers while I was on this knitting journey. I wanted to geek out about the yarn and for the whole experience to be more fun and motivating. I wanted to share my creative, authentic self with other like-minded people, but I didn't know how to find them and I didn't even know that they were out there. So after all of these years of knitting by myself, lots of unfinished whips, and later on, loads of customer feedback, I came up with a unique version of a knit along that I'm excited to tell you a little bit about today. So our knit alongs shatter these pitfalls and creative ruts that we sometimes get ourselves into and help you actually finish that project. <laughs> It's a supportive environment for your inner artist to learn and grow, and it's a safe space for you to be yourself 
whatever level of crafter you may be and whatever your aesthetic. So just bear with me, entertain me for a minute. Imagine a world where your knitting projects come to life with ease and where each stitch brings you an immense sense of accomplishment and joy. Imagine mastering new techniques that not only elevate your skills, but spark your creativity in ways you never thought possible. And maybe the best part of all is you won't be doing it alone. You'll be part of a vibrant community of like-minded knitters who are eager to share their tips, cheer you on, help you when you need it, and celebrate your progress. You'll also be supported by expert coaches ready and excited to guide you at every turn. You'll connect, learn, get help when needed, and grow together. Our Knit Alongs are about transforming your knitting journey into a fulfilling and stress-relieving practice that brings added joy, calm, and creativity to your life. Think less struggle with your stitches and your yarn and more ease. Whether you're looking to cope with anxiety, wake up that inner artist, or simply find more time to knit, our Fall Knit Along experience is the perfect way to make this happen. It's about fostering a deep self-care practice that helps you do you and show up for those that depend on you the most, like your family, friends, and coworkers, better. Took me a long time to learn that one. It's about creating a space where you can truly be yourself and express your creativity in ways that bring you joy and fill you with a huge sense of accomplishment. So I've already shared a little bit about who I am and what we do here at Knit Collage, but I want to dive deep into my big why because it goes way beyond just pretty yarns and patterns. At the heart of Knit Collage is this idea that it's really not about those things. <laughs> Knitting and crochet are actually tools we can use to come back to our creative, authentic selves. And beyond that, leaning into a consistent knitting or crochet practice helps us feel more relaxed, peaceful, and confident too. I have spent the last 14 years while we've been in business perfecting my teaching style and exploring creative ways to make knitting not just a hobby, but a transformative experience for all of you. <laughs> I've taught thousands of makers how to knit and crochet with confidence and to master new techniques and to truly enjoy the process along the way. My journey has led me to create unique solutions that address common challenges knitters face. From finding time to knit, to staying motivated, getting clear video tutorials, and of course, finishing more projects. Over the years, I've encountered many knitters who felt stuck, uninspired, or overwhelmed by their projects. Through my workshops, online courses, and community events, my team and I have helped them with in-the-moment guidance on their specific projects. My approach is not just about teaching knitting techniques. It's about fostering a holistic experience that nurtures creativity and brings you back to that inner artist kid you used to be, reduces stress, builds lasting connections with the community, and of course, you finish more projects too. <laughs> I've had the joy of seeing transformations firsthand. Knitters who once struggled to complete their projects are now proud of their finished pieces, rocking them with pride and eager to start new ones. I'm excited to share this with you so that you can elevate your knitting skills and experience some of these incredible benefits I felt along the way. So do you ever find yourself struggling to finish your knitting or crochet project? Maybe you started a beautiful piece, but life gets in the way and it ends up in the unfinished pile. This has definitely happened to me. Or perhaps you find it hard to carve out time from your busy schedule and indulge in your knitting hobby. You are not alone. Knitting, while incredibly rewarding, can sometimes feel like an uphill battle, especially if you're learning a tricky new technique or if you make a mistake and don't know how to fix it. Ripping out, it's not fun. No one wants to do it, right? <laughs> you might have a vision for your project, but as the days go by, finding time and energy to work on it becomes increasingly difficult. I've been there and I completely get it. 
So as part of our fall knit along, we will be knitting eight different designs in community together over a six week time frame. And I'm gonna dive into all those designs, including this one in the next video. Within this knit along experience, we have a set start and finish date. And the idea here is to really foster this to be a community making event. We have a big party video at the end that really caps off the whole thing, makes it so fun. Do not underestimate the power of community to help keep you motivated. By setting small manageable goals, you can integrate knitting into your routine without feeling overwhelmed. Consistency is key, not the amount of time you spend in one sitting. And just want to say this, big knitting needles help. And all of these projects are knit on a size US needle or larger, so they whip up pretty quickly. As part of our knit along, you'll get a rough schedule to follow with a checklist that you can check off as you make progress an online course for each of the eight designs where I teach you how to knit or crochet that design from start to finish, all broken up into bite-sized chunks for easy learning, expert coaching help on live Zooms and within our community from our two knitting and crochet coaches, Cheryl and Pia. They are there to help you with any in-the-moment questions or mistakes you're facing that need urgent help with. These Zooms are held three a week, all different times to try and make sure we find a time that works for all the different time zones we have joining us. You'll also get access to our incredibly vibrant community. This will most likely be hosted on Facebook, but there's an outside chance that our new Knit Collage app is ready too. And if it's ready, we're gonna host the community over there. You'll be able to connect with people by place, which is really cool. I wanna encourage in-person meetups. We are also going to group you into accountability small groups where newer knitters or crocheters will be paired with more experienced ones. You can think of this as your small group within the bigger group. So another thing I get asked is, I'm not skilled enough to take on new techniques. So I'm a beginner. I really wanna join your knit along, but I don't think I know enough to get started. So every knitter starts somewhere and it's totally okay and normal to feel apprehensive about learning new skills, especially if you've tried and failed before. But when you're just starting out, that's when you actually need the most help and support. I spend hours creating these teaching videos that accompany each of the eight designs. There is so much value. This is most people's favorite part of the whole knit along. There is so much value in video courses that actually match the pattern you're knitting. You can say goodbye to going onto YouTube and searching for a technique that matches what you're supposed to do in the pattern. The video courses are written for the pattern you are making and they are yours forever. Additionally, you'll have in the moment coaching from myself and Pia and Cheryl, our in-house coaches I mentioned before. Between the three of us, we have a combined 70 plus years of knitting and crochet experience. We have seen it all. The last question I get asked a lot is, I actually prefer knitting alone. I don't see a lot of value in community. And I just wanna acknowledge that I completely get this. I'm an introvert and I really cherish my solo knitting time. However, I have never felt so seen and appreciated for who I really am, my rainbow loving, like crazy sweater wearing self, than I have when I started to be part of this creative community. I don't have a community of makers around me here where I live, and I'm so busy with my business and my family that an online community just fits into my life better. It's a place where you can come to share your crazy, happy knits, whatever they might be, with people who just get you. Being a part of the community doesn't mean you have to give up on your solo knitting time. It means that you have a support system to turn to when you need advice, want to be inspired, or simply share what really lights you up about your project. This community gets it, unlike the rest of the world out there. This is the language we speak together. <laughs> I'm super excited to share more about our upcoming fall knit along in the next video as we dive deeper into all of the designs, including the Enchanted Forest that I'm wearing now, the yarns, who makes them and where, all of the teaching and the platform we use to teach 
and these special events I have in store. The special events are centered around creativity, waking up that inner artist, and this idea of slowing down, of not rushing the process and being more present. We'll also hear from some amazing women who have experienced these transformations firsthand and their stories will inspire you and show you that no matter where you are on your knitting journey, incredible growth and accomplishment are within reach for you. So stay tuned for that next video. We're gonna go into each of the eight designs in a lot of detail. I would love to encourage you and invite you to take a small but important step. Think about what aspects of your knitting journey you most want to improve. Is it learning new techniques, finding more time to knit, or connecting with a supportive community? Whatever it is, take a moment to reflect, maybe journal on this, think about this, and I invite you to leave a comment below where you share these insights. Is it the idea of mastering new skills, the prospect of finding a stress-relieving hobby, or the opportunity to connect with other fellow knitters. Let's hear it, please let it rip down below. Additionally, if you have any questions or specific challenges you're facing with your knitting or your crochet, please feel free to share them in the comments too. I am here to help and your feedback helps us shape the next knit along. The first step to transformation is taking action. So no matter how small it may be, I encourage you to take that. Thank you for joining me. I'm so excited about this journey ahead. I think it's gonna be our best yet. I feel really good and excited about it. And I can't wait to see what is in store for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.